Hey everyone, Mr. MC here. Welcome to Season 3 of the Nations Cup Exhibition. Let's get this started. For this first turn, break right after the 100 meter mark. Try to get the car to rotate as quickly as possible. Carefully start to accelerate and do not go onto the Alsa turf on the left. For our Rouge, you can take it at full throttle all the way through. What you'll do is take advantage of this first curb on the left. Right after you pass it, bring yourself to the right. You can use a bit of the curb on the right, just don't take too much of it. Then carefully align yourself for the apex on top of the hill and straighten yourself out. You want to try to take our Rouge with as little steering as possible to maximize your speed. Brake when the curb on the left starts and be very careful when you're easing off the brakes. Do not hit the bollards, do a lot of throttle control and ease off the throttle before you hit the apex for this right handed turn. Once again, brake when the curb on the left starts. Try to stay as inside as you can, stay on third gear and slowly start to accelerate. Brake early for this turn and try to hit the apex, go on to fourth gear and slowly accelerate your way out. Now look for the black digital flag that is on the right as you will break before you pass it and you want to try to get as close to the apex as you can by trail braking then very carefully start to accelerate. You don't want to understeer onto the azure turf otherwise you'll have a bad day. Break right before you reach this arch up ahead and you want to trail break quite a bit and try to go for a somewhat of a light apex. Just try to stick to the inside of the turn and once again you'll be doing the same thing but go for a light apex and start to fully accelerate. Break before the curb on the left starts. Try to get your car straightened out as soon as you can and start to fully accelerate. Thanks to the racing soft tires you can take this turn at full throttle. During the race you can take this turn, the left hander up ahead and our rouge at full throttle with racing soft and racing medium tires. Once again, you can take this turn at full throttle. Break right after you pass the 150 meter sign. Try to get the car to nail these apexes. Get the car to rotate as quickly as possible so you can start to fully accelerate and cross the finish line. Let's go ahead and talk about the strategies. Now, for this race, you have to use racing hard tires at some point and all three tire compounds are available to be used. So what I did, I decided to try out three different strategies. The first one is where you go from racing soft onto racing hard tires. The second strategy is where you do racing medium onto racing hard. And the third one is where you do racing soft into racing soft into racing hard tires. All of these were tested with the same car, so the Lexus RCF Group 4, and let's see which one ended up doing the best. Now interestingly, the second and the third strategies got a similar time, and I just want to note with the second strategy, I could have gotten a 2020 if the AI wasn't in the way when I was trying to overtake him at Abruge, but that's another story for another day. See, the thing is that with the racing soft tires on the RCF Group 4, the tires are pretty much gone by the end of lap 5, so you have to pit. If you try to go another lap with them, you're only going to be hurting yourself. Now, the thing is that with the racing soft tires, you're off, I mean, obviously getting a much better pace compared to that of the racing hard tires. So, if you're doing another five laps of racing soft tires compared to six laps on racing hard tires obviously your pace is going to be much better but the only thing is that the pit stop duration is well it takes a while not as long as that of laguna seca but it's up there now if you decide that you want to do the two stop strategy you absolutely have to push as much as you can Whenever you're on the second racing soft tire stint, that way you can try to make up as much time as you can that you'll be losing whenever you're on the pit stop for the second time. Now another thing is that 
you absolutely have to refuel as the car, at least this car specifically, consumes a lot of fuel. So you want to try to fuel safe while you can while maintaining a decent pace. So a couple of things you can do is try to get some slipstream from those ahead of you, short shift whenever you can, and adjust the fuel map setting whenever you're on the twistier parts of the track. Now the last strategy, which is actually the first one listed here, is where you start on racing medium tires, then pit on over to racing hard tires and refuel. So unfortunately, while you can hang out on the racing track for a bit longer compared to those on racing soft tires, the slower pace is not really going to justify it. So I wouldn't suggest using the first strategy at all, unless if you're the GTR, then good luck. And one last thing that I want to mention about the second strategy is that you have to refuel on the first pit stop and you have to try to make sure that you have enough fuel so you don't have to refuel when you're on the second pit stop because if you have to refuel on the second pit stop, then you're going to feel a little silly about it. But anyways, that is pretty much it for this guide. I'm going to go ahead and sign off now. So this is Mr. MCA wishing you a happy new year and I'll see you in the next video.